morning everyone on our way to work this is tuesday when i'm filming this welcome to tuesday we have all decided right that it is tuesday not tuesday no we haven't we haven't made up our minds on that okay well whichever one you like better it's tuesday or tuesday today we're gonna go and do some trucking very excited we have to pick up a load in winnipeg uh, first thing Two loads actually well two parts to one load we got to go and pick one up on the west side of winnipeg and go pick up the rest of it on the east side of winnipeg and then go down to a small town called l'atelier my interior lights seem to be on inside the truck oh joy let's go see if she'll start oh man well She's got oil in her, so let's start her up now. I don't know why the lights were on. I hope that they weren't on all night. I don't know why they... Why were your lights on? Did someone come in here and turn them on for you? Oh! Atta girl! Atta girl! She's all warmed up, ready to go. The sun is about to join us. It's always nice. Let's get going. There's the sun. Got the whole lot salted yesterday, or sanded. I think it was the sand. They did back here a little bit, and they did a really good job around the trailers there. Which is awesome because uh, we were having trouble getting stuck <laughs> right in the middle of the of the lot on the flat ground because it was so icy. It's a skating rink and. Now we got some good traction again. I didn't even see them come in here. I don't know when they came in, but I came to the back here at one point during the day. I'm like, oh, look at that. I don't know if we get an outside person to come in and salt the yard or, because I don't think we have our own salt shaker here. Oh well, we got to find a step deck. I think I'm going to take this one right here. 104 dB. You look friendly. Want to hang out today? Look like you're in decent shape. Sitting back here all alone? You want a friend? Let's be friends. Let's be friends. I'm going to hook up. pulled out here no frozen brakes thank goodness we're all ready set to go i just had to pick up a charger i forgot my phone charger in my pickup over there I swung past here to grab that now we're on the way this gate should be working by now if not we'll have to do a u-turn and go back go with the other gate all right ah where's my seatbelt buckle i know it falls down in there there we go all right Ah, lock my pickup. There you go. Keeps the bad guys out. And let's roll forward. Come on. We got freight waiting for us. Two pickups today. Sure hope this gate is working right now. Ha ha! Ha! Open sesame. So probably about a half hour drive, and probably not even 20 minute drive to my first pickup. And I forgot to bring my lunch today, so I gotta stop and pick up food somewhere before I get hungry. Nobody coming, nobody coming. Double, triple, quadruple check. Oh. 
we've got the first part loaded up that's it got the whole bottom there to load up on the east side of winnipeg yet no idea what's in here or anything but i got her all tied down ready to go as soon as i can find the outhouse i think they have a driver's porta potty around here somewhere just in case you're wondering if you if you needed that information it is a vlog after all i'm a sharer all right here's my chance all the way around to the other side of the city and then all the way down to the u.s border Latalie, where we're delivering this stuff, is the last town on Highway 75 before Emerson, which is the border town uh, at the border with the U.S. So I guess it's the second last town before the U.S. the corner with Route 90 and Bishop Grandin. Winnipeg is known for its interesting intersections. It's like they have to be different. They don't want to do it the normal way. Even if the normal way makes sense, that's why it's the normal way. That's what everybody else does. No, we're Winnipeg. Let's do it the hardest way possible. This is a whole new neighborhood here though. It's only built in the last like five, ten years. Well, you can get a house in here starting at the low, low price of like $800,000. Oh yeah. For uh, some parts of Canada, that is actually very low. I mean, you might even find one in here for $500,000. But for Winnipeg, that's expensive. <laughs> but look what you get for that. Like These are some big houses. Some really nice big houses in here. You just gotta hope and trust that they were built right and aren't gonna fall apart 10 years down the road. Because they put them up in a hurry. Like they go up fast. Here at the Petro Pass at Deacon's Corner on the east side of Winnipeg. Just checking my straps while I'm here. This is what we loaded up on the west side, up on the kick. And this is the stuff we loaded up here on the east side of the city. This is all going down near Latalia. All right. Strap you guys on. Hold on. Sorry, didn't mean to make you all dizzy there. Okay. You guys ready? Buckle up. That means you too. Buckle up. Don't want you to fall out. about 100 and uh, 110 kilometers from here. So just over an hour, about an hour and 15 hour and 20 minutes. Well, that's rare that there's no weight at this driveway. 
usually we have to wait for tons of traffic. Get out here. People usually get a little nervous or scared of uh, big trucks. So when you're merging onto the highway, they usually move over for you. Unless if they're those stubborn four-wheelers that don't want to go out of their way and it's too much work for them to change lanes, you know. Well, I guess that's depending on the person, depending on the day, right? remember this place Barney's restaurant and bar I've never actually been inside every time I come here they're closed and then when I do come here like right now I don't quickly I don't have time to quickly run in and for the last year or so like this time last year I couldn't go in there if I wanted because everything was shut down right but it's a nice place from what I've heard and they've got some parking here as you saw their trailer is now empty I'm just gonna drag my 33 year old butt that shouldn't be in this bad of shape up on the trailer deck here and get rid of some of this snow rock definitely don't want that rock in there. you got a couple of rocks on here yeah let's not take those with us okay those are going to go through someone's windshield that would be a bad day for them and for me a lot of paperwork and a lot of explaining all right let's uh this off of here this is just snow. That's not a really word with that. Do my best to get that off of here. Everything else is clear. Oh, whoa, one more rock. Definitely want the rocks off. Okay. Yeah, so uh, empty trailer. The day was a success. Another delivery by Trucker Josh. Okay, oh. I swear those, those decks used to be lower. It's a long way down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not that bad. It's not that bad. Okay. Time to go back to the yard. Looks like I'm just gonna strap you in here, right? Gotta make sure we put our seatbelts on, right? 
Okay. One second, guys. One second. Hold on. Hold on. Ah! I usually cut that part out, but you know what? Just for you, I'm leaving it in there. Okay? You're welcome. Let's go. See if there's anything else for me today or uh, if we're going home. Oh, it's not like my brakes were on there. What was that? Did I sink in a little? No. Oh, maybe my clutch just needs to be adjusted again. All right, well, the US of A is that way south. We are going north. Though I miss traveling down there. Don't don't worry, guys. I've been telling my uh, my load guys that I'd like to stretch my legs a little bit sometime soon. A little bit further. They're, they'll get me there. Right now I'm needed here, though. Okay, so I got to go where I'm needed. That's what a trucker does. A trucker goes where he's needed. This is a nice little town. I actually almost bought this lot a few years ago, right here beside the uh, their arena. But because it's beside the arena here and all off on its own, I ended up not getting it. It used to be an old house here, but whoever did buy it knocked that house down and built this house. They did a really nice job. Yeah, I was gonna buy this property here and build a shop right behind it there by that truck parking in the back. And then I'd be right on the main route into the US. So every time I went on a trip down south or came back home, I'd be going right past my house and I could pull right in there. I'd have a nice shop. But I ended up buying out uh, closer to Steinbeck instead. And you know, life led me to Brit. And had I done anything differently, I don't know if I would have met her. I, I mean, we met on the internet. We're a true 21st century couple. But, uh, so we probably still would have met. But I would have lived much further away from where she was at the time. She lived in Winnipeg. I don't know. Life definitely would have been different, though. Oh, well, right there is where I would have been living. But at least I'd have truck parking right in my backyard, right? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I got a much better deal now. Now we got land out in the bush east of here. On the other side of the river. Indeed, Zed. Life turns out just the way it's supposed to, right? All right, we have to find a spot to put this trailer in. I think I'm gonna put it right there in front of us. Just do a little U-turn and back it right on in there. Lights are off, interior lights are off. Can't believe she started today. I wonder how long those interior lights were on then. Were they on all night? If they were, that... I mean, I got a new alternator, but man. <laughs> all right, time to go. Another day. Let's go say hi to the dogs. Ah, I see you there, Commander. I see you. 
Hey guys. See our solar light got some good sun today. <laughs> we get a little sun here in the winter time. Sometimes uh, it doesn't get very much of a charge, but yeah, it's lighting up the yard nice now. This uh, isn't actually plugged into electricity. It's got a solar panel on the roof and that charges it during the day. And then it's our security light at night. And it actually works really good. Got it at Canadian Tire for like 60 bucks or something a year or two ago. Works really good. Go see what they're all up to back here. Hopefully staying out of trouble. Diesel, what you doing? Frank? You're not eating anything you shouldn't, are you? Frank? What you got there? He likes some... Uh, he likes to recycle. Go back in. Come on, Chef. Diesel. Come on. Come on, guys. Yeah, I got all my work stuff here. I gotta put everything away now. Well, Diesel, it's up to you. It's always up to me, man. That's why I'm a yard. Yard of the weasels and the woozles. Your hands are cold again, man. You aren't wearing your mittens on your paws, man. We talked about this. Yeah. Very, very, very important that you wear your mittens. Your paws, you're gonna fall off. That's what mom says. This is my rope. It's a very good rope. It's a very nice shade of gray and light gray. Do you wanna play with my rope? You can play with it if you want. This one? This one? Yeah, that yeah, one, get it. Let me get a hold of it. Let me get a hold of it. One sec, yeah, one sec. One, okay, okay. Now you pull that way. Well, but hey, you can't use your paw. That's cheating. Okay, use my mouth. Okay. I gotta use my paw too. Uh, okay, pull that. Uh. I win. That's not how you play tug of war, dude. No. Bad boy. He thinks he knows everything, that one. The young pup. He wants to learn. Teenagers, you know, you story got to deal with them. Diesel, I was a teenager once. Come here, let me tell you. Let me tell you, come here. Now you tell me from there. I'm good. I'm good right here. Once I was a teenager, rebellious, thought I knew everything. No way. You still think you know everything. Yeah, but now I actually do. That's the difference. Mom said that's not true. Mom said you don't know everything. She told me. Mom knows everything. You should ask her sometimes. She's very wise. She's very smart. I always wanted a mom. Thanks for getting me one. The only time I thought you weren't going to get me one. You didn't think that. I didn't know if you could snag us a good mom or not. I have my doubts. Why, why are you pinching my... Why are you pinching my cheek? Stop it. Now, for all of you out there, I hope you come back tomorrow. Maybe Dad will let me talk again. And Britt is once again working late tonight. Uh, her schedule, like I've said before, is kind of opposite from mine. She starts later in the day. I start early in the early morning, and then she works later, and I get home before her. So I'd like to uh, include her in here more, but we'll see what we can do on the weekends. Very often on the weekends, we end up just taking that time to relax and catch up with everything. But... Trying to stay on top of everything so that we can get you a good dog vlog and a good family vlog on the weekends. Okay. Should be good. I got invited to a Blue Bomber game coming up soon with my buddy James and his family. I'm actually pretty excited. I haven't been to a Blue Bomber game since I was probably like four. I'm not really a big football fan. Blue Bombers is the Winnipeg uh, like football team, like American football. We have, our, we have our own football league up here. I'll show you guys. I'll take you guys along if they're okay with it. And if not, I'll just show you the game. But uh, you, you've met him before. You've met him. Should be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. So there's that coming up on the weekend. Not this coming weekend. The weekend after that. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to make another video tomorrow. Who knows what will happen then. How's that for a cliffhanger? <laughs> it's, hard to, it's hard to give you a cliffhanger. <laughs> there's not much to say. 